Hi, I'm in Toronto enjoying the good weather and exploring the city. And this is a place called Graffiti Alley. And I thought I could use this background to make a short video about what makes this bouldering season that is about to begin, this World Cup season, different from the previous ones. This season we're only going to have five World Cups, Toronto, Vail, Chongqing, Haiyan and Munich. And the amount of World Cups affects how the overall ranking is calculated. With six or more World Cups, like last year, the worst result of each competitor is discarded, it doesn't count. But with five or less, like this year, every single result counts. So if a climber does poorly in one of the World Cups and gets a bad result, that result is going to stick there, hurting the climber's chances at the overall title. So you can say that this year there is way less margin for error. For instance, Dimitri Sharafuddinov and uh, Rustam Gelmanov will not compete here in Toronto. They're going to get zero points and those zero points are not going anywhere. They're going to have a hard time trying to catch up with climbers like Ondra, Hoyer or Schubert, who presumably will get a lot of points here in Toronto. Um, that's it, now you know. This season, with five World Cups, every result counts, and anyone who, has, who wants to have a clear chance at the overall title has to go to all of the World Cups and has to do well in all of the World Cups. Thanks for watching, that's all. See you tomorrow for the qualifiers.